I'm the founder of Oh My Goodness. Oh My Goodness is a Singapore-based food company that specializes in good gluten-free food. And we believe we have one purpose to serve, and that's to feed good quality, great tasting, wonderful mouthfeel, gluten-free food um, to anyone who just wants to eat better in the Asia Pacific region. In 2013, I was having a couple of health issues and I went to see a naturopathic doctor who basically put me off wheat and dairy. I have been baking since I was 16, so being told that I couldn't have wheat or dairy wasn't exactly the best news for me to hear. It was around the time I was leaving for business school and while everyone else was studying really hard, I spent my time in my little house in a village, uh, changing up my repertoire, trying different recipes. And what worked best for me were recipes that were gluten-free and dairy-free and refined sugar-free. On one of my trips back home, I brought this cake that was super popular in school, what has now become our signature dark chocolate cake, to a number of social events. And people could not believe that it was gluten-free and dairy-free and refined sugar-free because it was so good and it was really moist and tasted great. And a few people sort of started whispering and egging me on to start a business. I was living with a friend at the time because I wasn't living in Singapore, so I didn't have a home. She went off on a holiday with her son and came back to a bakery. <laughs> I just started baking lots and lots of dark chocolate loaf cakes and because it was Christmas time, a lot of people started buying them as gifts or for their own events and we actually made enough, well I say we, I've got into the habit of saying we, at that point it was just me. I made enough money to buy our first professional oven which we actually still use uh, at the factory five, six years later. Our bodies haven't evolved as quickly as agricultural practices. So we're kind of forcing our body to digest different foods that we're not really able to. And so it's becoming more and more common for people in their 30s and 40s to start experiencing digestive issues, gut health issues, or just various symptoms that um, they're not really sure what to attribute it to. And a very common one is eczema. So we've really come a long way and the fact that we were actually baking out of my friend's kitchen just four or five years ago is still something I haven't gotten my mind around.